be moving straight to Abia State, Umwahia in Abia State, where Governor Alex Oti has yet again flagged off the construction of a certain road project. Uh, Abia State Borough Chief Emmanuel Wazwe now reports. The 11.5 kilometer Nunyai Luama Isukwato Road, which has been in a deplorable condition for decades in Isukwato local government area. In his remark, Governor Alex Oti says the goal of his administration is to turn communities in the state into safe heavens for investors. Our overarching goal is to turn every community in the state to a safe and secure investment destination with suitable supporting infrastructure. The efforts are rebuilding and restoring Abia to the glorious dreams of his founding fathers started right after we took our oath of on the 29th of May last year, and we have remained focused and resilient, delivering on the key promises that won us your confidence and mandate. With very robust security architecture in place, the Nonya Eluama Road will, on completion, provide additional layer of support to farmers within this axis to move their produce, most notably Gary. Palm oil, egusi, godudu, vegetables, and plantain to multiple urban locations within Abia and beyond. The project is being handled by a Chinese firm, the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, CCECC. Its representative speaks about their commitment to the project. In that way, we are dedicated to ensuring that the road reconstruction is completed with the highest standards of quality. Our team is committed to working closely with the local authorities and communities to maximize benefits throughout the construction progress. As expected, prominent indigenous of the area, including a former chief of army staff, the third lieutenant general Azubiki Yajurika, could not hide their joy. When we talk of good Government. This is what it's all about. It's about infrastructure. It's about security. If you get these two, what else do you need? Everybody will now to participate in the commission flag off ceremony of two very significant ones in Sudan. And as that one, these ones are going on, other ones are opening up in other areas, and what's are going on simultaneously. So I can only tell you the kind of governor we have. And this is just happening just a few months into Thank you. You as you see for making this the, the success. And from my own point of view, I know in governance, when it comes to governance, I will continue to give maximum support to His Excellency. The Nunye Lua Sukwato Road project has a 12 month completion timeline, and the governor emphasized that it must meet all specifications stated in the contract paper. In Umwahia, Emmanuel Wazwe reporting. I mean, definitely 12 months down the line, Afia TV is going to be assessing if the road was completed. But judging by how things have been going in Abia State, I have very little doubt that it's going to be, well, I'm sure, actually, that mm -hmm. it's going to be completed. Mm -hmm. Very little doubt that it's going to be left abandoned because we've seen other roads being commissioned and completed, and completed and flagged up and completed. So this one, I believe, is not going to be an exception, except something surprises me like the daily surprise <laughs> i just hope it's not i just hope there's, there are no you know surprises of that nature but one of the things i really appreciate about the governor of abia state and i think their way of doing things is the fact that you're able to work and you're able to communicate so we've seen i have seen um situations where a governor is talking so much and doing very little i've seen situations where the governor is doing a lot and talking less i want to believe that both of them are very important it's important you talk it's important you do. And that's why we mentioned earlier about Enugu State Governor. A lot has been done, a lot has been done, but it doesn't look like a lot of publicity is being made about them. So I believe that if we can put in more effort to talk about the things that we're doing, it gives people hope 
it gives people hope that something is being done, you know, and it makes us anticipate more. So that's one of the things I, I believe that the Enugu State Governor and government in general should, you know, put in place. We're doing a lot, but let's communicate a lot as well. I mean, lots of consultancy there, mm -hmm. but you're very correct, very rightly put, because the Enugu State Governor is definitely doing a lot as well, but it's important to communicate this to the public. I mean, every now and then when something is done it might seem like talking a lot but as sometimes as when, 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 when mm -hmm. you don't talk about it you leave room for speculations exactly. and some commissioners come on the show like we're even having a commissioner here today later but when something happens it's important to talk about it almost immediately like the phone village story that mm -hmm. road is is beautiful and i did not know till i actually wound down and asked one of the businessmen there i'm like things are, are changing but like you rightly pointed out communicating it uh, over and over again no matter how frequent it seems no matter how you know how annoying it may come up but <laughs> it has to be done because mm -hmm. i think i think that is a gap you know one of the gaps that exist there and if that is filled uh, everybody will be carried along in the development picture